What is up YouTube? That's here today. I'm back playing where Pokemon BDC 2023 Regulation D ranked battles and today we're going to be featuring a rental code and a team that I worked on in a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with one of my max tier Patreons. If you guys are at all interested in Patreon, think about checking out link in the description. And uh, yeah, this is a super cool team that features Galarian Moltres with standard like Tornadus for support, uh, Imprisoned Trick Room Flutter if you want to use that, a standard Rilla. But what I really think is cool about this team is other than Tornadus, you have multiple other forms of speed control. You have a big Icy Wind Bundle with a Booster Energy, as well as a Dual Screens Light Clay Regilecki. So this team has a lot of different ways to enable the Moltres to carry the game. We can go for Tailwinds or Taunts or Ice Winds from our Tornadus, and then Moltres does its job. We can go Fake Outs uh, that can let Moltres get a Nasty Pop. We can also go for like Icy Winds and Electro Webs to give Moltres the speed control to actually finish things off after it gets those Nasty Pots off with those Fiery Wrath, putting our opponents within range to get flinched as well. Well, this is a super, super cool team that does feature a Pokemon that I think is like an S tier Pokemon in this format in the Glorian Moltres. And before we get into the games, I just want to ask you guys the question of the day. Do you guys wish there were more Regulation D tournaments? You know, we used to have like online international challenge tournaments like all the time. And I feel like we have not had one in a really, really long time. Even just like a friendly competition. I would be happy to enter one of those online tournaments. Let me know if you guys would as well, if it was like an official TPCI Pokemon tournament. Let me know if that sounds like something that would be fun in your opinion. And other than that, wish me luck as we hop right into these battles. Hopefully we fight some good players. Here we go. All right, here we go. Hisuian Arcanine. You don't see that one that often. This is a pretty good looking team though. I think like Hisuian Arcanine Crest Gastro is strong. That being said, I wonder if it's gonna be like a fake out Grim. I, like I highly doubt it. Um, could definitely still go torn. They have they have fake out on the hands if that's going to be a problem. What would be the issue with going flutter here? Dazzling Loom checks half that board, and then we'd have to just bring something that like could check crest maybe. So something like this seems very solid with like secondary speed control in the back. I'm gonna bring the Rilla for like a mid game fake out, similar to how I normally like to play Hariyama. And then it's between these, and we could just trade screens. Like, realistically, what if we just opened up and traded screens? That'd be very good. I think I like the bundle more than the Lecky, though. I think it checks more things, especially that Gastro. I don't think we need the speed control. If you get up a Tailwind, you get up a Tailwind. I don't think it's the end of the world. Um, they'd have to overcommit with that Roaring Moon to actually be able to deal with the Flutter. So, like, they'd have to, like, turn one, like, Fire Terra or, like, Steel Terra to not get KO'd. Yes, that would let them get a Tailwind up, but, like, I don't even know if that's really enough to go, like, that hard. I think they're they're much more probably prone to go, like, Cresselia Grim or Cresselia Hands or something like that. And I think if they want to do those sort of things, like, it's a good play. If they want to go Cresselia Hands, I'll probably just... I'd probably stay in one turn with the Moltres and see if they want to actually click the Fake Out. But then next turn I would just pivot into the Rilla, set my own terrain, block the Electric Attack, repin with Fake Out, and then, like, have Flutter do whatever it wants. So let's go into it. I think I know who this is. I think this is, uh, is this Joshua Lorsi? Really, really, like, high-level player if it's him. Um, really high-level. So, like, we'll see. So, Grim Arcanine. Let's see if this is an Intimidate Arcanine or, uh, maybe something else. Yeah. I think, I think Hisuian Arcanine still uses, uh, Intimidate. Like, it's just really good still. So, they could have, they could have Fake Out on the Grim. They could definitely, definitely have Fake Out on the Grim. Um, let's think about what we want to do here. There's nothing wrong with pivoting in real, I don't think, and just going for a nasty plot. You can go for a light screen, like, I don't really care. So, I think that's fine. Are you hitting this slot, though? I see you. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I think that, like... They could just rock slide, yeah. They could go for like a head smash, like yeah, they can, they can, right? I just think that like there there might be like a little bit more passive play here somewhere. There's the light screen, that's what we expected. And let's see what they're actually clicking into the Moltres if they are clicking anything. We are faster than the Arcanine with this Moltres, that's very important to note. Rock slide, it shouldn't KO. Cool, so it's right into the Berserk proc. It's exactly what we wanted off this Moltres set. And we get a Citrus Proc, so we can get a second Berserk Proc later. So really good stuff. And then now we have a Fake Out pin from this Rilla. Like, do you see how, like, nice that looks? Like, oh my gosh. Right, so now we got plus three, and we have a Fake Out pin. Yes, they have a Light Screen up, but, like, 
I don't know if his Suian Arcanine actually even uses Protect. I'll go for the Fake Out play, though. We could actually realistically, like, Fake Out... kind of want to Fake Out the Grim. I'm going to Fake Out the Grim, actually. I don't want to get Spirit Breaked. So we'll Fake Out Grim. And just Fiery Wrath. It's good damage. What's our Terra here? Fairy? Not bad. I think we... I don't know if we Oko Arcanine here, but I don't think they KO us. They pivot Arcanine. They think we're fake outing it. So we made the right play and going after the Grim again. I don't want to get Spirit Breaked. I don't really care what they switch in. Um, great Mon here. We can play really passive into that too. Yeah, this is good damage on Grim even through the light screen, I think. Nah, not as great as I want. Crit on the hands. That's critting through the screen. So that's going to be a vested hands. Okay. Who are you fake outing? Are you fake outing my Rilla and going for... You could fake out Rilla and go Spirit Break still. Don't really want to knock off. I don't feel a need to do that. I'm going to Wood Hammer your Grim and just protect with my Moltres for a turn. If you fake out the Rilla, you're good. I would fake out the Rilla. You'd also go like Reflect and just like Thunder Punch the damn Moltres and that's not even bad. So we'll see. But we know it's these two Arcanine... And, like, I think Flutter has a good enough matchup for some of these if we can wait up that light screen. We just gotta get that Grim off the board before it can reset another screen. Woodhammer, nice. Good damage. And they're going for a Spirit Break. So, oh, so close to getting that off the board. So close to getting that off the board. Thunder Punch blocked. And they should be Spirit Breaking, right? Yeah, cool. So we can go for... Am I gonna have to Trast? I am gonna Trastalize my Moltres, I guess. Unless we know that we're gonna flinch the Rilla. I guess we can just stay in and go for, like... I guess we can just Fiery Wrath and Wood Hammer, and you can't stop both. Yes, you can Reflect, like a Fade Away Reflect, but I feel like this is fine. And I don't want to Trastalize the Moltres. Like, I don't really want to. I think I'm just going to lean into flinching the, the hands. Reflex is fine. This was our best play. We still have some good mons in the back. They're running out of turns on their light screen, which means, like, oh, is that another crit? Through those screens. Yo, we're actually a little bit lucky today. <laughs> a little bit. Just a little bit. Hey, that, that's the thing. That's like Grimm's biggest downfall. Is it can set all the screens in the world. It wasn't vested. It was citrus and just really bulky. Wow. Good play. Good play. I wonder if we still get the KO though. Because like this is big. Big, big, big. Oh my gosh. Again, so low. That if we, without the reflect, we would have had it for sure. There's the Thunder Punch. Again, I didn't want to Trastalize. I didn't want to Trastalize. I think the Trastalize is like... Would have been fine, but we would have been within range of E-Speed on um, on that. And it would have been wasted the mechanic, basically. I'd rather just, like, wean into the flinch a little bit. Um, that being said, Arcanine can come back out. Like, we don't really care here. I don't think there's an issue with Flutter, though. I think Flutter's fine. With, like, a little bit more of, like, a passive play. Like, pivot in, like, a bundle or something. Because we want to show... We want the Arcanine to, like, half the Terra. And I want to get a, I want to get another uh, repin of my fake out again. I don't think that Arcanine has protect, so like we can like pin it with bundle and uh, reload just a little bit later. So that being said, dazzling gleam is fine here. Um, hmm, what do you think they have in the back? I just want to make sure their screen turns. All right, so they have potentially, you know, a light. I, I think they have a light clay. Um, let's think about what we actually want to do here. We already saw Citrus, so the Arcanine might have something else weird. I think I'm just going to pivot the Rilla for Bundle. And just go Dazzling Gleam. I think that's fine. Yeah, it's the best play that we have. And then I wonder what the last Mon is on their team. I really do wonder what the last Mon is that they're using. But I think this I think this is like the actual like uh, player that I thought it was. Because they're, they're playing everything like perfectly, you know? Let's see. We should be able to kill the hands. It could have protect because it showed citrus and it wasn't vested. The Arcanine might be where the best is, and we'll be able to see that in just a minute. Protect. It's a good protect. See, like I said, a good player plays the game correctly, right? So they're gonna be able to clock sash on flutter if they want to like floor blitz and outside. Hopefully they won't get burned. Um That looks like it really could be vested. I know they have a light screen up. There's the floor, it's the right play into that guy. Ignoring the real is the right play. Please no burn. Like, if you no-burn me, I'm still happy. All right, cool. <sighs> we 
Let's see. What Terras do Hisui and Arcanines usually go? Is it Grass? Are you clicking Rock Slide this turn? My Terra is Ice. I mean, the right play. This is the right play. It forces a Terra, and then, like, if you Terra incorrectly, we can win with something in the back. Yeah, it's just this. This is the right play. This is gonna force the Arcanine to Terra. Or Protect or Pivot. Either way, I should be able to not lose a Mon this turn. Unless, like, unless you're wasting the resources to Terra back, right? So you can go, like, Terra Grass. But let's see what they actually get out of it. Pivot out hands, repin for that fake out later. Good play. What is this last Pokemon? Gastrodon. Okay, good play. And what was I going to do, right? That's the thing. It's like, what was I going to do? Was I going to freeze dry the Arcanine? No. Um, it sucks also that, like, our bundle is faster here. Like, imagine if, like, you know, we had something a little bit different. Let's think about what I want to do here, because we actually don't have, like, the worst play ever. We have to lean into them, like, missing a rock slide, I think. Hmm. Yeah, they brought all the right mons. So we could go freeze dry, right? We haven't terrored yet. Obviously, it screens. We might. We're probably having to lean into like a crit here, on one of their mons. I'm thinking also about like going for a hydro pump again, like into the Arcanine, thinking the Gastron's gonna switch. Good play. Like that play from them. What if I just freeze dried that Arcanine slot and just wood hammered the Gastro, bro? <laughs> oh man, that would have been nuts. That would have been nuts. I think that would have like won me the game. Oh, let's see what the Gastro's doing. The Gastro's probably just protecting, right? If the Gastro's just protecting, like, we got shots. Cool. Hey, that works for us. We get a free KO here. They thought we were going to overcommit on Gastro, and they wanted to get a fake out pin, and we're not going to give it to them. Yes, we revealed our Terra. Yes, our Terra is weak against the rock. We have two monsters weak against rock. You're, I'm, like I said earlier, we're forcing you to have to hit a rock slide. Um, let's think about how we need to do this. They also still have their Terra active. That's the thing. They still have Terra. And I, I bet you that Gastro is going to Terra. The question is, like, which Mon do we want to use in this situation? Like, do I go for a double protect bundle? Don't go for Hydra now because there's no switch happening. Do I go for a freeze dry? Do I go for a... Do I go for an Icy Wind Wood Hammer into the Arcanine? That's a good question. It's neutral damage. I'm intimidated, but I feel like I have to crit anyways, right? I feel like I have to crit anyways. So, like, that being said, like, Icy Wind here, plus, like, a crit Wood Hammer would KO the Arcanine if they didn't Terra. I think that is the right play. Gastron's gonna Terra, like, fire or some shit. And, like, I don't know if I could beat that ever, but, like, we'll see what happens. At least we're getting them into this, like, really late-game situation, and, uh, like I said, very strong player. So... You know, can't always win them all, but we are putting ourselves in a situation to win. Um, we are still putting ourselves in a situation when we can freeze these things. There's the Astro Terra, just like we talked about. Goes Fairy Terra. Cool, we hit those for neutral. So, like, if I take out your Arcanine this turn and don't lose a Mon for it, like, I don't know what you're using, but I can, like, freeze you with a freeze dry next turn. Icy Wind, double hit. Nice, nice. We need to crit this Arcanine with this Wood Hammer. Right? That's the whole play. I didn't get it. You can double miss a rock slide. They miss on one? Yo. Ah, damn. Ah, dude, we got close. We got close. I think it's a close game, but uh, 
you know. Um, they just have the right defensive core to beat what we're trying to bring to the table. There's the Yawn, that's also the right play. I would say Yawn is the right play there. And then now they just play passive. So I don't think there's anything we can realistically do here. They're just going to drop Protect. I think the only play I'm going to be able to go for would be, like, Freeze Drying. And I don't actually want to show that I have Freeze Dry. I think this is another, like, weird way of playing on the ladder. You don't need to show things. Everyone's like, why would you run? And it's like, bro, if I, what am I going to use? They've shown Hydro Pump, forced them to bring in the Gastro, shown Icy Wind, shown Protect. There's no reason to show this last move. I don't want to, let, like, if, let's say I play against them in the very next game. I want them to think that maybe we could have Sub. Maybe we could have Encore. Maybe we have something else. But I don't want to show that I even have the Freeze Dry. So I'll take the L in this one. But I think they played it really, really well. And for my first battle with this team, I think we held up pretty well as well. So is what it is. Okay, pretty similar stuff. We see Gudra though. I think Gudra is definitely deal withable for something like a Moltres. I think Moltres has a good matchup against Gudra, especially with our, like our Fairy Terra to be able to like take reduced damage from body press. So that being said, we're in a good spot here. They have some speed control from like potential Thunder Wave or like Icy Wind or even Trick Room Crest. But that being said, uh, we can just go like any of our faster versions of speed control. Like either of these guys are good. I want to see this Lucky's Ghost or... We have Ghost Terra, so I'm going to lead with this. I think this is a good mon here. Um, so we can go Ghost Terra here, do whatever we want, and let's see who we want to pair it with. There's nothing, like, wrong with Flutter here. Having a board that's, like, two mons that they can't really hit very well. And if they obviously are, like, a big trick, I'm like, if they go real a Crest, I can just imprison. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to bring the Moltres. And then I think as far as mons to bring in the back, I think Bundle's still really good here. It can hit Urshi Water. It can hit Chiyu. Um, it can freeze dry that Gudra, right? Um, I think it's just a good solid mon. Bundle's just really, really still good in this format. So let's go into this one and let's redeem ourselves. I think we need to play a little bit more reserved with the Moltres. I think in the last game, you know, it was my first game playing with the team. Um, I went a little bit too deep, but I didn't want to waste the, the Terra on the Moltres. I think that like I was expecting them to have a lot more aggressive mon than the Gastro in the back. And, you know, I went for that Hydro play. 100% like forcing a gastro play and they exactly had the gastro. Good thing there's no gastro here. There is a Cress and a Gudra. Let's think about what I want to do here. I think if I put up a Reflect, they don't kill us with um, Gleam. So that being said, like Reflect could, sorry, not Gleam, um, Heavy Slam. So that being said, that could work. Um, we could also go like Volt Switch into Cress, pivot into... Are we just double into the crest? Are you trick rooming though? I think that is. I think this is trick room. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get the damage off and then come with Moltres and probably try and play a little bit longer game. That's probably the best play. What do I Terra to? Steal? Oh shit! I'll just do that. Fuck it. Yeah. I'll just. I just need two turns, right? And then next turn I pivot out for something when you go for like a body press. Yeah, so I just need to block Heavy Slam. So this is going to do like 20% from the Electro Web. Sorry, um, from the Volt Switch. Uh, 30 to 40% from the Shadow Ball. And then you can have Trick Room, but then like you're going to be Lunar Blessing. And then like I'll just get the Crest off the board and be fine and, and Trick Room it back. Hopefully. We'll see. Um, I'm going to come in with Moltres, I think, here. And then we can also just go for Nasty Plots. Tunnel you into the Flutter Main and punish those still slots. Let's go. Go play. Shadow Ball, nice damage. You might not even be trick rooming. I'm not going to lie. You might not be. Acid armor is completely what we would expect. And then we still have Sash on the flutter. So actually, we're still in a good spot. So the trick room is exactly what we expected here. Um, I'm going to go for... So you, you should be Lunar Blustering here to get your crest out of that range, right? So what I'm going to do here is Nasty Plot and trick room it back. I'm going to try. Because I think that like you're going to just try and get the... You're just going to body press the flutter and go in. And if you want to double into the flutter, be my guest. Like, I don't think that you would. Double S. Do you actually think you're still going to be able to do that? Are you trick rooming trick room? Lunar blessing. There it is. And then next turn, they're going to be like, that's fine. I'll just body press and trick room again. But I'm going to imprison this time and fire your wrath and kill your uh, Cresselia. And do a lot of damage to your Gudra. People keep asking, like, what's the check for Gudra? And the answer is nasty plot users. So we trick them it back. And they're probably thinking, why didn't you just imprison Trick Room? Because, like, I don't think it was super obvious they were in a Trick Room. It would have been good play, but, like, it's this, team, this team does not scream Trick Room to me. So, it means that means they probably have the Rilla, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was, like, Urshi or Chiyu in the back. So, that being said, uh, Fire Wrath is still great here. Um, 
big damage against both of those. And I think we could probably get away with actually just like de-gleaming and fiery wrathing and not even having to go for an imprison here. You'd have to go terastalize on your crest. And even if you do that, you don't really get everything you need out of it. Yeah. That little bit of damage is exactly what we need, I think. Cool. Crest, down, crest goes down. Any flinchers? You could hit any of these slots you want. And you go after that one. And that's Sash. Sash Flutter's still busted. It's like, what? No way. And there's Lefties and the Gudra. Cool. Yeah, I think we're in a good spot here. So, like, what are they going to send out? Urshifu would have a priority move. We would just pivot. And, uh... Yeah, we'll see. Urshi, I will say, I was going to say, Urshi Water cannot break um, Moltres either because we have a Citrus Berry. So I think we're fine to just click. Let me actually think about what the right play is here. There's nothing wrong with Protect, and like I don't need Flutter for anything else anymore. I actually would rather be able to bring in something like Bundle. So I, I think realistically we could just let this guy go down. Um, we just Dazzle and Gleam again. Or even like Shadow Ball to secure the range. Like we could Shadow Ball there. And there's nothing wrong with that. I actually think that, like, I could go for, like, a Shadow Ball into the Gudra. And that's fine. If you want to fake out my Flutter, be my guest. Like, but I would much rather not get fake out into my Moltres, body pressed into my Moltres, and lose the game. And we're over-respecting the Gudra slot here. Also for, like, life due purposes. We want to keep that Gudra about half, so then we can always come in with a Fiery Wrath and finish it off. Nice. And they did fake out the Moltres. And who are they body pressing? They're Acid Armoring again. What do you think you're going to get to do here, buddy? Because, again, we have two Mons that still really, really threaten that slot. So you might have, like, a Fairy Terra Gudra that you want to go to, like, block. Or, like, Dark Terra Gudra or something. Um, and I still think we're going to be able to come in hot and finish it off. I think uh, Fiery Wrath plus a Dazzling Gloom here is enough to take it out still. I just didn't let them... They got to plus six, and I'm like, bro, don't care. There's the, ter there's the Terra, right? They should be going... Is it going to be, like, Fairy? Or is it going to be, like, Dark? I thought about... Oh, Rilla is terastalizing. Wow. Yeah, go nuts. Water Terra Rilla. It's not bad. I wonder what they think that... Like, what's the point of that? Protect. Hey, go nuts. They don't do enough to the Moltres here with, like, any of those moves. It's not like they have, like, Ice or Electric Terra, you know? Or even Fairy Terra Rilla. Just good damage. You, we, we're not going to KO the Rilla here. They're trying to get just a little bit more uh, health back on their Gudra, which is not wrong. Let's see. That's a lot. They're, are you going to try and KO my uh, Flutter? Which is totally fine. Like, that's totally, totally okay. Now we actually have secure 100% like good damage moves against that Gudra slot. So I appreciate you. Let me think about who we would like to bring in. I think there's nothing wrong with Lecky. I think what I'm going to do is actually bring in the Lecky. And Volt Switch into the Rilla. So we have single target Fire Wrath damage versus the Gudra. And that way we also don't show bundle until like we have to. D give him like less time to think about what our last mon could be. So fiery wrath. Bolt switch. If you want to protect the Rilla, I still think we have it, but I think you're vested. So let's see it. Let's see what your big plan is. Bolt switch. You're done. So Rilla's down. This is now a single target Fire Wrath, which is so much more damage than it did last time. And now we bring in the bundle. So we, we got like one turn of them not knowing what our plan was until the very end. And uh, bundle comes in. Bundle has that, a little bit of speed control. If they have like a Scarf Chiyu or like a Scarf Urshi or something weird in the back, like bundle can just Icy one or Freeze Dry or Hydro Pump those things. And then Moltres should be able to win the game. This sets up perfectly for Moltres to get the big carry that it needs to have. That being said, if we hit... I mean, we hit, but if we KO, but I think a single target nasty plot boosted version of this does get it. How flex would it have been, though, to, like, side bolt switch to proc my berserk? <laughs> Dude, that would have been clean. I don't want to do that. This is a much better play. So it's more damage doing those single target uh, than doubles. So let's see. What's the last mon? What is the last mon? Survey says... Chi Yu. So we can go for a Hydro and miss it, or we can just go for a, like, I guess we can just go for an Icy Wind, and that's totally fine, because they're probably Scarfed. Icy Wind does hit. 
So now you're probably, well, well, if you're not so the Moltres, that means you were scarfed. But let's see. Survey says, ah, and we miss an Air Slash. Never lucky. That's me. Heat wave, dude. Big sad. Cry every time. Bye bye, bundle. Oh my gosh. This doesn't even activate my Berserk, too. I'm so sad. I, I think this doesn't activate Berserk. I think a Dot doesn't activate it, but it will get me a Citrus proc, which like should keep me out of range of the next one. They are orbed. Cool. How does how am I gonna hmm? How am I gonna do this? Like that that air slash miss really, really sucked. Like we have Lecky. And like I could light scream, but if you crit me, I just lose, right? 100%. If you crit me, I just lose out of this. I think fire out the light screen into like volts, which after that is the right play. Because like we don't do enough damage with volt switch. But it, this would give me a chance to use two fiery wraths, which I really like. They might play a little bit passive too. Let's see. Like, Volt Switch is in, isn't doing any favors here. We just want the damage from Fire Wrath. It's resisted, obviously. That's so much damage we would have had it. No crits! Or we crit them, but no crits on us. Heat Wave. No double crit. Okay, cool. We're good. We did it. There's our Berserk proc. We didn't need the crit on them, obviously. They're orbed. But, like, um... Yeah, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think Light Scream is still a safe play there. They would have had to double crit us. And we didn't know we were going to get a crit with Fiery Wrath. And I don't think Fiery Wrath plus Volt Switch would have gotten that KO. That's just my opinion. And it all happened because we missed an Air Slash. Otherwise, they would have been absolutely done so the turn before. So we'll take those wins. And we're going to play one more game with this team because I usually like to get two wins if I can. So, uh... Let's go into one more game with this Galarian Moltres team. Wish me luck. All right, cool. Screamtail. We talked a little bit about how good Screamtail was in this format. I definitely still think their Cleavor is very good too. So I want to like overcommit to beat those, I think. Like I could definitely see myself leading Bundle here. We have better speed control than they do as well. So like Bundle's great. Um, pinning Zapdos, pinning Heatran, pinning Cleavor, pinning Urshi Water. There's a lot of things that we pin with this. Um, that being said... I think something like this is actually a really good play. Let me see. Do we have Taunt or is it just like Tailwind? Do we even have Protect here? Taunt. Cool. We have Taunt. Awesome. I really like that then. So yeah, I, I like this board a lot. We can just Taunt their Zap. Um, but then I want to have a better matchup versus Heatran. I think you might just have to deal with it. No, this is a good, this is a good board state. And then I think that Flutter is still a good mod to bring. And then we're going to definitely bring the Moltres. I think that Rilla is cool here too, but I, I want to be able to like punish them for trying to set up with Cleavor. I think if they want to go like Cleavor Zap, this is a great weed against that. This is good against Urshi. This is good against so many other options. And if they want to go with Rilla, this board, if they go like Rilla Zap, this really conditions them into fake outing our Tornadus, which we have Covert Cloak. So we can just go Bleak Wind or Taunt or do whatever we want and just get a ton of damage off on turn one. Like we'll be able to just go freeze dry Cle Cleavor Zap. Exactly. This is a great weed for us right? This is a great lead. Cool. We can just taunt that zap, kill the cleavor, and then next turn kill the zap, right? You know what I mean? Like, I, I, will, I love it, bro. Um, you could just hit the bundle, I guess. But you need to tailwind. I know you want to. I don't think that I can... I might be able to kill that zap, actually. But then I get stone axed. Let's just play this the way I wanted to. I like I like this board. Attack. Hey, cool. Th this is the board. This is the matchup I wanted. Bundle versus Cleavor. Shoot your shot, Chief. Let's go. Hydro. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he's alive. Damn, dude. Alright, that's still fine. Um, now, because now we just do this. <laughs> Brick break, huh? No, no stone axe. Hey, I don't make the rules here, but you done so, bro. Maybe you didn't want to miss. He probably just really didn't want to miss. And that looks to be vested, Cleaver. You don't just eat this. So, you don't just be eating this, bro. Bundle about to be popping off out here. 
and we get the, the additional damage into the Cleavor with the Icy Wind. We should be enough. To, it should be still enough to take it out. So I really like this. You're going to have to go with like a Terra unless you're pivoting. Okay, cool. You're swap whatever swapping in, swapping in on the Icy Wind. That's great. Maybe Rilla? Nice. That's sick. That's really good for us. That's Rilla. You good for us. Because <laughs> next time we can just Bleak Wind. So we don't have to like hit this Icy Wind against Zap, I don't think. Maybe we do. Um, but we definitely would like to hit the Icy Wind versus Zap. And we don't know if the Zap's tearing, but like they might. We're still under no pressure to put up our Tailwind yet. We just have speed control. Freeze dry hits. Let's see. Do we even need the Icy Wind? We do need Icy Wind. Let's go. Now, this calc for the bundle is to check like Gastros and Amoongus's that are EV trained to just live the bear the base freeze dress. So that's why we still have Ice Terra on this thing over something like a Ghost Terra. But I think we're in a great spot here. That's a, that's a really, really good lead to be in. There's no Tailwind. There's no threat of Tailwind. We know that it's like a slower Cleavor. So like we're really, really good. Now, let's see. Cleaver comes back up. You can't stop both of us, bro. Big icy wind. I'm a bleak wind. We can just kill the Rilla. And you can't you can't fake out the torn. I know you want to. I know you want to fake out this torn. You're like, I do, I'm gonna fake out that torn. I guess it could still be scarf cleaver, or like really bulky scarf. Um, and like that scarf cleaver is just slower than bundle. So like they could still outspeed the torn. I still think we're fine. I still think that we're fine. Because, like, if you fake out the bundle and kill my Torn, I just still have the bundle. They did fake out the Torn. Covert Cloak busted. Icy win. Double hit. So we take out the Cleavor. Chunk the Rilla. And they're probably... Oh my gosh. Do you see that damage? Do you see that damage in that Rilla, bro? That's too much damage. Too much damage. In the Citrus Rilla. It wasn't vested, obviously. So maybe, maybe with the Cleavor wasn't vested. Anyways, um, Citrus right there. Bleak wind! He's like, but I fake out it. And it's like, bro, got that covert cloak though. Got that covert cloak though. Oh my gosh. See, like bundle torn busted out here, bro. And then what's the last mon? We're supposed to be featuring Galarian Moltres, okay? Urshifu, Urshi D's. Oh my gosh, it's rapid strike. More like freeze dry strike. And uh, we just icy wind it. They can go like a weird terror or something if they want, but like we got it. They can, like we have four Pokemon. <laughs> There's no way that they win this. Water? Steel! Oh my gosh. What? I have not seen someone use a steel Urshifu yet. I wonder how much damage this is still gonna do. Aqua Jet. Hey, that's cool. That doesn't get the KO, even with the crit, because Iron Bundle is busted. You ready to get frozen, bro? He's not, he's not ready to get frozen. <laughs> Steel, huh? It's not that, it's not bad. It stops like the moves that would be good against it. Things like flying moves, things like, it makes you take either reduced or neutral damage from most things you would normally weak against. Like grass, you take reduced. Um, flying, you take reduced. You can aqua jet me again if you want. That's fine. I don't like really care. I'm just gonna protect then. Like I can just like chill in here and like weave in all this other sorts of damage. I'm gonna bleak wins. Why not protect with the bundle? You know what I mean? If you're just going to Aqua Jet it. Get an extra tick of the grassy turn. Oh, they actually went after... Oh, wait, don't... What am I doing? It's an Urshifu. What a misplay. What a misplay. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I've been playing too much singles, bro. I've been using Protective Pads Urshi, which removes, like, the ability to make contact. Oh, well. It's fine. We still have right mons in the back. And uh, we can bring up basically anything we want. I'm just going to bring up Moltres. Because that's the mon that we're supposed to be featuring anyways. Let's go, Moltres. And just Fiery Wrath, which now you take neutral. And, uh, yeah, we just basically win. We need just a little bit of damage to do this. Don't really care. I want to see, like, yeah, I, I, I want to actually see. Because I could have I could have Tailwinded there, but I wanted to see, like, yeah, how much damage they would do with Rapid Strike. And I wanted to get those Berserk procs. So, uh, we'll take these wins. And they, um, yeah, they just do take the L. Moltres is good. This team's really good. I think this team's really good. You have the Lecky and the Bundle for Speed Control, but then you also have like solid fake out users in Rilla. You have an Imprisoned Trick Room user in Flutter, and then you have something like Galarian Moltres, which can be a hard carry if you need it to be. So think about using this team's rental if you guys want to take a quick trip back to Master Ball and uh, 
yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to answer the question of the day. And thank you so much for watching. Peace out. I'll see you guys next time.